Hugo, nu räcker det va? Okay, let's try to do this thing. What should I draw today? Hmm. Let's see what comes out. That kind of made me think about the girl. The girl has no name. Hey, good morning, Marcus. How are you Good morning, Jordi. Glad to have you here again. Ah, you had your word went on a bender, a whiskey mayhem. Maybe not that much whiskey. Maybe just a little, one glass too much. <laughs> Sounds wonderful, Marcus. Chicken taco for breakfast. Or maybe it's late, late dinner. Maybe you haven't gone to bed yet. Hey, good morning, Anarli. Or an or lie. I don't know. All right, so you've been up for a while. But if you're on vacation, it doesn't really matter, does it? Then it's all good. Annerly, right. Svensson, you it's not really manly, is it? Kinda, but it's a little bit too fine dining for manliness. It should be like microwaved hot dog. Isn't that kinda like least effort protein uh, way of dealing with food? But I mean for me, manly is cooking. So I mean I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just messing around. Hey, good morning, a crazy mind. Hey, Marius Bota. Good morning. Mm -hmm. 
So you guys were having some sort of Croatian sausage. <clears throat> Right. That's cool. Sadly, I can't have uh, those hot dog buns anymore. Yeah, gluten sick. Yeah, they had actually uh, good food in IFCC. I agree, Peter. Uh, the lecturers had um, a free lunch at this uh, restaurant, a white tablecloth style restaurant. Just really good. And one day, um, there was uh, this lecture's re uh, lunch at a different restaurant, and I went uh, a bunch of people there and to eat, and uh, I ordered uh, not squid, uh, cuttlefish soup, uh, but that was so boring. All that there was was uh, cuttlefish chopped in pieces with chickpeas in broth. And uh, neither was well cooked. Oh, it was really boring. Well, for me, the risotto wasn't that good, actually. Uh, maybe we got different uh, batches, but uh, mine was very kind of gluey and, and thick, which isn't really what the risotto should be. It had good taste though, that was good. one good thing, but uh, yeah. I think the tastiest I had there was um, um, they had this uh, cod or, and uh, salmon, it was really well made. Obviously seafood in Croatia, you know, they do it really well. Okay, nine minutes in, and I'd say I'm a, a pretty good place. Not too much repainting. Uh, found what I was gonna draw quite quickly, and now I'm kind of just chasing it and seeing uh, where this will end up. Uh, where this will end up, yeah. Kind of going for some sort of female-ish robotic uh, guard. Maybe not robotic, but kind of mix between, uh, uh, you know, those um, Arabic guards that you know, all these classic paintings but robot or something something
<laughs> not the Aladdin fall, but um, uh, you know the, all these uh, realist, super realism painters, uh, like uh, the Napoleonic era. Uh, the name forgives. Uh, of, uh, I'm forgetting the name of, the, of that era, uh, that style. But John Baptist, uh, what was his name? Uh, there's lots of paintings from that time in, from like Egypt. Um, anyways, those kind of paintings, they were always, you know, having some sort of uh, guard standing in a, in a kind of outfit. And it's, you know, it's very famous paintings. But the names, I can't f remember them for the life of me, obviously. Having issues with that. <laughs> and the names of those painters, they're also just completely. Jerome, Jean Baptiste Jerome, is that what was his name? Maybe. I love this stuff. I looked at it a lot uh, when I was working on Napoleon uh, Total War. Really cool paintings. And the way they painted light. And it's crazy good. Sorry. Yeah, so my son came home from his grandmother today. Had a blast for a week. Now I feel like I'm starting to just add things. I have to really be careful about it now. I feel that I'm straying away from it a bit. Let's increase the contrast. And let's do the top light thing I like doing recently. Gives it a nice little sense of presentation. Just a little bit. Let me put it to overlay this better. Let's run with that. Hey, good morning, Dennis. Welcome. You know, one thing I just found out, I don't think you guys have thought about, but during all these warm ups, I have never once kind of really zoomed in, have I? Mm -hmm. It's all like a zoomed out state. That's an interesting thing, I think. And it's an important thing to think about, is that zooming is not necessarily always useful. What I th one thing I love about sketching like this is, um, it feels more like a pen and paper, right? You're, you're at one zoom level rather than, uh, um, you know, ability to zoom in and zoom out like you, because it's digital. On pen and paper, you, you can't really zoom in. Well, you can by, by moving your head closer, uh, but uh, that's all about the, 
that's the only ability to get closer, right? Yeah, I did uh, did some undo today as well on the shoulder, but uh, yeah, I try not to to uh, do too much of that. I think uh, it's an important thing to just let go of uh, as well, and then uh, I think a little bit before. Yeah, exactly. So I said you you just go a little bit closer to the paper to look, but that that's about it. I don't know, know if any one of you are uh, uh, kind of into Brexit and that whole whole thing, uh, but the the leader of UKIP, the, I guess the people in control, um, and that kind of pushed for the whole Brexit, he uh, stepped down from from his post. It's hilarious! It's like push forward this crazy idea and then when it kind of get gets passed just step down <laughs> so like ridiculous that in itself just shows the kind of uh, what their intent is right it's not to, he uh, UKIP is a known kind of racist stuff right um, or uh, kind of hostile uh, immigration, anti-immigration people, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously, he ticked the box and then just <laughs> walked away. Crazy. Crazy that they're allowed to do stuff like that. And, then, and everyone just goes, eh, what an idiot, but that's it. You know? It's like a comedy. Right, Marius? What was his opinion? The anger for what? For the immigration issues? Or the the Brexit? Or what was the what was the anger about? Just so we understand the kind of uh, point of view, the starting point. Yeah, 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 for definitely. That's. I think that's not uh, a surprise anymore. I would say. The masses are just chewing up whatever they're being told. The person with the most uh, convincing argument is deemed as true, rather than people looking up and doing research and, and uh, figuring things out on their own. You know, who has time for that when there's uh, soap operas to follow and McDonald's to eat? <clears throat> Uh, 
I think it's, the whole thing is just crazy. Like I can understand to some degree why they vote to exit, right? So they regain uh, uh, independence from European Union and the, the uh, kind of joint uh, um, joint laws and agreements that uh, Europe creates, you know, because it's a uh, uh, you can't really have your own rules for one country and still be uh, in the EU in that sense. But uh, yeah, I don't know. EU laws, laws are far from perfect, for sure. But it's a really weird point of view, if you ask me, like voting exit. Um, because, yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I think I'm biased, obviously, because I'm Swedish, you know, I'm not from the UK. And them voting Brexit means, you know, certain things for me uh, and not really for, uh, you know, a full blown UK person. Definitely, that's kind of it's a scary thing as well. And Mario Spota, yeah. Um, you can argue for that that you lost a lot of uh, um, culture as well. Uh, well, that's. The whole uh, then it's about uh, politics and so on. I think, I think big picture wise, it doesn't really matter. People in charge will do whatever they want, and until those are changed, it will always be the same. And I don't think a referendum in itself will cause any big difference, uh, other than them being swayed slightly, perhaps by the general public, but I think still they're, they're just going to do their thing and not care about reading what everyone else thinks. That's, that's my, my two cents about that. And that's why I also don't really enjoy politics. It's because it's not, it's not like, they can get away with so much. It's not, that like their their word is is bound like to their performance like they can say what they can lie and and people will just go oh, okay he lied let's see next year what if he'll he'll or she will say the truth it's like why are people listening to people who are lying at all you know like look at the art community. Like if if you if you do a wrong move, like there's a lot of people who are just gonna be labeled as you know shit and then that's it. But then there's also a lot of people who 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 um acts really bad in the art community 
and people still uh, you know they don't shun them at all they just allow uh, things to go on as 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 there's nothing wrong you know or they say oh that's bad but then they still still um, they still you know pay attention to that person which is crazy as well just shows that in a that we are not obsolete from that thinking, regardless if we're just painting nice things. Shit people are everywhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly, that is. That is exact, exactly my point of view. But without mentioning any names, obviously, because it's really not, none of my business what people do and what people think. But uh, certain things are just super confusing for me when it comes to that. And I don't, uh, it's just. Yeah, bad form, if you ask me, on a lot of things that happen in the art community. Yeah, you can't trust. Definitely. There's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of good sheeps as well, but yeah. And Marcus definitely. It's just ridiculous. Have you guys seen um that uh, Will Ferrell movie um Big Politics or whatever it's called with um Zach Galafini Kiframfrenak Top Lop Lop Lock Kiss, that Greek fat guy? That's in uh, Hangover. Uh, they did this movie about politics, and I'm quite sure it's like a George Bush parody, to some extent. Um, but that for that movie, it's, it shows a lot about politics and, and how much it's just pure, pure lie and deceit, just to get uh, the points, you know, so that you get into office and. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's like a popularity contest and how to to play the play the minds of people rather than act correctly. And I think uh, like to go into American politics, like Bernie Sanders, uh, it's crazy how he's not becoming the president. Any sane person would go, of course, <laughs> Sanders, at least any European person. Please. But I don't want to talk about politics really because I'm first, number one, I'm not really that into it. And secondly, it's, it's politics. <laughs> It only holds my interest to to certain extent, and then I just don't care. Okay, time's almost out. Time went really fast today. A lot of talking. not fully finished where I want to finish it but uh, it's okay I think it's in a good good enough state
yeah, it could almost be. <laughs> it definitely kind of sits in the same space, that's true. But I like the way this guy, uh, this character ended up looking. Um, a lot of kind of noodling, way more than expressive things like that, uh, wizard or shaman I did yesterday. And also, I like the way that the cloth ended up looking. All right, that's it for today. Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, was a fun character to sketch. Just ended up being some sort of Egyptian robot assassin thing guard. Um, good luck today, and uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Thank you all for coming. By the way, bye.